The goal in this example is to find the power dissipated in this one ohm resistor in this circuit using node voltage method. The five steps involved in applying the node voltage method are shown here. So let's see how we can systematically apply these steps to solve the circuit. <clears throat> Looking at the circuit, we can see that we have two voltage sources, two ideal independent voltage sources and note that the polarity here is different from the polarity here. Also we have one ideal independent current source and then there are four resistors. Step one in the node voltage method is to identify essential nodes. Recall that an essential node is a point where three or more circuit elements join. In this given circuit this point is an essential node because three circuit elements are joining. This is an essential node and we have two more essential nodes here. So there are four essential nodes in total. Note that this point in the circuit is a node because two circuit elements are joining but it is not an essential node. Step two is to select one of the essential nodes and make it a reference node. In this example, it is a good choice to make this node a reference node and this is indicated by the ground symbol. Step three is to apply Kirchhoff current law to the remaining nodes. So let's label the nodes as V1, V2 and V3. So we need to apply Kirchhoff current law to the remaining nodes. Before we do that, observe node 1 and because of our choice of reference node, we have the 10 volt voltage source directly connected between ground and node 1. So this means the voltage here is actually 10 volts and we do not need to apply Kirchhoff current law to this node. So this is a consequence of a good choice of a reference node. Let's apply Kirchhoff current law to the remaining nodes. So the systematic way is assume branch currents are flowing away from each node. So we have three branch currents flowing away from the node. This branch current, we apply Ohm's law. So this branch current is voltage at this side minus voltage at this side divided by resistance. So KCL at node 2, we get V2 minus 0 over 3. This branch current will be voltage at this side minus voltage at this side divided by resistance. So V2 minus V3 over 2. In this branch, there is only a current source. So the value of the current should, must be equal to the magnitude of the current source. Our assumed branch current direction is opposite to that of the current source. So this branch current is minus 2 is equal to 0. Let's look at kit. Kirchhoff current law at node 3. So here this branch current through the 2 ohm resistor will be follow the direction of the assumed branch current. So this is V3 minus V1 over 2. So V3 minus V1 over 2. This branch current will be V3 minus V2. over 2. Now for this last branch current, since we cannot apply Ohm's law to this voltage source, we can use a technique which is to interchange the position of the voltage source and the resistor. So this is 1 Ohm and 6 volts. So to facilitate writing the expression for this branch current, 
Since the voltage source and the resistor are in series, we can interchange their position. And now we can apply Ohm's law to this resistor to write the expression. So this will be voltage at this side, which is V3 minus voltage here. And looking at this circuit, because we have the voltage source connected between ground and this point, the voltage here is minus 6 volts. So we have V3 minus minus 6 over 1 is equal to 0. So this completes step 3 and we have we now need to solve these equations. We can solve these equations using a calculator. So here we're using the solve command and the variables are V2 and V3 and V1 has a value of 10 volt by inspection which is used. So we can obtain the solution for the node voltages. So using the calculator, we can show that V2 is 2 volts and V3 is 0 volts and V1 is 10 volts by inspection. So this completes step 4, which is solving the equations. The last step is to solve for the circuit variables. In this case, we have to solve for the power dissipated in the one ohm resistor. So let's assume that the current through this resistor is this branch current. Let's call it IX. So this is the current flowing through the resistor. So This current IX is the same as this branch current. So we can find its value as V3 minus minus 6 over 1. So this is equal to 6 over 1 is equal to 6 amp. And then in a resistor, the power dissipated is I squared R. So we just substitute the value. So this is 6 squared times 1 is equal to 36 watt. So this is positive because a resistor always dissipates power. We can check our answer using PSPICE. So this is the simulation result of simulating the circuit in PSPICE. We can see that the node voltages are 10 volts, 2 volts. And PSPICE is indicating the node voltage here as 2.286 picovolts, which is practically 0 volts as we calculated. So this confirms the solution.